Hi, what's up guys? It's me Anna Fan here and welcome back to Take Chablis. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. What's it for today's video guys? Yes, how to make a time-lapse video from photos for the first time. You will find it here some good tips to make your very first basic time-lapse and learn from my mistakes as well. So here we go, let's dive in. First step in my process is doing some searching about time-lapse. Let's get some roundabout knowledge on how to make time-lapse videos. Things like photo shots, photo resolutions, free and paid apps to make time-lapse videos, clip length, shooting intervals, and tools to calculate how many photos do I need. For this first part, it takes me a few hours to get to know about them. So, here are a few things that you need to know about shooting photos to make a time-lapse video. Object for photo series. To make a time-lapse video, you need object for your photo shooting series. Things like clouds, sunrise, sunset, tree growth, flowers, busy street corners, etc. can be good for time-lapse video. In this tutorial, I was trying to make my first cloud moving time-lapse video, which is quite typical in time-lapse making. You need still images. Therefore, you might want to use your phone tripod or tripod for action camera like my situation capture many many photos. If you use your hand to hold your camera, chances that your photos will change its position and it doesn't fit in the frame later when you edit your time lapse. Also, keep in mind that you need to use a remote control or set it up for shooting automatically on your phone or action camera device. You need a lot of photos. If you don't know how many photos that you need to calculate your first time-lapse clip length, then I think you can use a time-lapse calculator such as PhotoPews. In my case, I've got 600 plus photos on my Ecan H9R. These photos are taken in early morning dawn time. Next, photo resolutions. Keep in mind that the better the resolutions, the heavier the image file size and the longer the uploading and editing process. However, good resolutions of photos will bring a good time-lapse video in the end. In my first time-lapse video here, all photos are from 16 megapixel camera resolution 1920 by 1080. Next part, after you've been preparing all the photos, then let's come to the part of editing photos to make a time-lapse. Alright, in this part, you have to consider which time-lapse making software or video editor to use. But always keep in mind that you will need a good computer or phone to run the process. So always make sure you have a good space for apps to run. There are a lot of time-lapse making apps on both Android and iOS app stores. However, I don't recommend you to use any mobile app to edit a time-lapse since there will be a lot of photos and sometimes your phone or app can't even handle the tax. Furthermore, most of the free apps don't allow you to have a high quality of photos or video resolution. Phone editing can be a little bit daunting for me. I do recommend that you should use video editor on your PC for better editing tasks. Few recommended apps are Camtasia, Premiere Pro, Final Cut X, Mova V, and iMovie for Mac. Always get a good computer and get a good time-lapse video then. In my case, uh, I use my current video editor, which is Camtasia 9, compile and make this time-lapse video. And let's see how it works. My PC runs uh, a little bit slow. But check this. It got stuck. Stuck and stuck, and my mouse keep busy, and I edit and save and stuck and keep rolling on, and I wait and wait and more wait until ten hours later. Whoa, the cloud is moving, great, but it doesn't move smoothly yet. Let's make it more increase in the speed of the whole video. To get this cloud moving in good speed, I speed up my whole photo series here up to 150 times in clip speed up tool. So here's a time-lapse video I've got, guys, 20 seconds cloud moving time-lapse video. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for more video tutorials later on. Bye for now.